signed the waiver form, registered for your races, purchased your balaclava, and received your race tickets, we'd like to review our safety procedures with you. This five minute video will give you what you need to ensure a fun, safe racing experience. These are ungoverned European racing cars that can reach speeds in excess of 70 kilometers an hour. These are not bumper cars, and we wish to make sure you are aware of the rules and regulations so that you and the other drivers enjoy your race. Aggressive drivers will be removed from the track, so please pay attention for the next five minutes as it will definitely be worth it. Once you've viewed the video, you'll leave the briefing room and head over to the gear up room to get your helmet and optional race suit. Once you've selected the correct size of helmet, place the balaclava over your head and put on your helmet. <laughs> Please note that open coat shoes are not permitted on the track. Once you've finished gearing up, please proceed through the glass doors, up the stairs, to the observation deck. Please note the race heat number on your ticket. When you are either directed or it is time for your race heat, please proceed to the pit area at the bottom of the stairs and give your ticket to the race marshal. The race marshal will then assign you a card in our timing system. You will then be directed to a cart number. When asked, please proceed with caution to your cart and step into the cart by holding the steering wheel with your left hand and stepping on the metal oh, frame of the cart. Once in the cart, you can adjust <laughs> to two features. You're going to have to pay positions. attention because you're going to have to, to tell me what's going on here. the black knob located by your right knee and slide it forward or backwards depending on your leg length. The seat can be adjusted by using the red lever located under the left side of the seat. Push the lever toward the front of the cart to loosen the seat adjust as needed and lock the lever back into position once you've adjusted the seat and pedals reach over your right shoulder and fasten your seat belt be gentle the seat belts are very sensitive pull the seat belt very slowly the seat belts are designed to grab quickly for your safety you will notice the color-coded pedals red on the left for stop and green on the right for the gas <laughs> One car at a time, you'll be directed out of the pit onto the track surface. You will notice a number of yellow flashing lights and some street lights as well that have the yellow light illuminated. The yellow light means two things, slow down and no passing. In order to ensure the safe start of the race, the race marshal will keep the yellow light on until all carts are out of the pit area. Once the race is ready to begin, the yellow light will be turned off and the green light will be turned on. When the green light is turned on, the race marshal will also wave the green flag to signify the official start of the race. During the course of your racing, you may find that you take a corner just a little bit too fast and end up stuck against one of our tire walls. In this instance, please stay in your cart, put your hands in the air, and this will signify that you need some assistance. Ooh, ooh, put your hands the in the air. will then ooh, turn ooh. the yellow light on to signify to the rest of the drivers to slow down and not pass. I can pass please you. just keep your hands in the air, do not put them out to the side, and definitely do not do circles with them. <laughs> Once the race marshal has reached you, you will make sure that you can get back on the track safely. Please keep your feet off the pedals and your hands off the steering wheel as the race marshal knows how to get you going as fast as possible. Once you're back on the track, he will get back to the pit area. When he is safely there, he'll turn the yellow light back off and put the green light on. That will signify that racing is good to go again. Should there be a larger problem involving more than one cart, you may see a red flag and light. If this should be illuminated, stop immediately in a controlled manner and wait until the yellow light is back on. Time will be added to your race if it is a lengthy delay. One of the other flags that you may see is the blue or blue with orange stripe. <laughs> this is a right-of-way flag. You will receive this flag if you are perhaps not traveling as fast as the person or group behind you. When this flag is waved at you, please slow further down and pull over to the right. You don't have to stop, but let the group behind you pass. Once they have passed, proceed after them to see how they are driving. Perhaps you might get a tip or two on why they're going faster. I'll give you one piece of advice. It ain't the cart. One of the next flags you may see is the dreaded black flag. Oh, no. This flag is given to people who hit another cart where we feel that the contact could have been avoided. It kind of looked like an accident. Yeah, that was like an accident. But it's a black flag. are not bumper cars. Should you impact another cart, we will give you the black flag and ask you to come into the pit area. Once in the pit area, the race marshal will have a quick discussion with you and warn you that the next time you hit somebody, your racing will be done for the day. Our job is to ensure the safety and enjoyment of all racers. Should one person be aggressive, we will not hesitate to remove that person from the track for the benefit of the other racers. 
The next and last flag that you will see is the checkered flag as you cross the finish line. Once you've crossed the finish line and received the checkered flag, continue driving to the pit entrance where you will be directed to enter the pit. Once you don't have to worry about that flag, but I, I better pay attention to that one. Out of your cart by the the flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that your racing is done, there, proceed here. back up the stairs over yeah, your observation so. deck and into our oh, front area. <clears throat> Once you've replaced your helmet and race suit into the gear-up room, go up to the front counter where a copy of your race result will be waiting for you. Now that you've finished watching our riveting video, we're ready to head out to racing. Thank you. So head up to the gear-up room and get ready to race. First or last. That's funny. Track map. Race rules. Oh. Lots of rules. Welcome to TBC Indoor Car Racing. Now that you've signed the waiver, you can register for the races. You received your race tickets. Would okay. like to review our safety procedures with you. Go over to her. This you, I, I can't believe you didn't pick a, um, a more exciting name, said Crashington Long Race a lot. I should have taken it. Where, where, where do we go there? Uh, I guess we go in here. I don't know. Do our patients with long hair. So find a helmet that fits. And then start, I guess. Right. Oh, I've always wanted to wear one of these racing ballot palace. What's that? Slash never going to wear one of these racing ballet clothes. <laughs> no. Open your elf like that. Um, here's a good looking helmet, Ralph. Let's see if this one fits. <clears throat> now it's going to take your glasses off first. Okay. And then put it back on later. <laughs> yeah, this. Ow. It's too small. Is it too small? Yeah. Okay. Help. <laughs> or is it just how it went on? Let me try this one. Oh, your head's gonna get crushed by that. It's so small. No. It's not? Oh, it's too tight for me, but. Yeah, you know, let's try it again. Well, it could have been these parts on the side here. Yeah, my balaclava looked like it got stuck. Yeah. So hold your bal balaclava there and I'll hold these sides. Let's go down like this. Oh, no, it fits. No, it fits, eh? It's good. If you like to? Yep. Do I put my glasses on? Yeah, you can put your glasses on if you want to see what's going on in the race, I think. I heard of a racer called... Washington um, Vaughn Race a lot. <laughs> Sebastian Bourdais. Sebastian Bourdais is a um, kart racer. I think he started up a gaming kart. He went into Formula One for a little bit. Who gave me a small hole in it? Well, is that... Mm -hmm. not, oh. It fits, it fits perfectly. Yeah. It's like a It looks like a cool one. Is that a medium, you think? Yeah. yeah. Sebastian Bourdain wore glasses while he raced. I the only problem is my cheeks kind of squished. Well, I'm not sure that's normal, though. Is that, we'll have to find out, I guess. No, it still works. It feels okay? Yeah. Oh, so that's medium there, you think? That's small, that's medium. Yeah. Um, or do you want to try a large round? No, it's fits. That fits. That fits okay? Yeah, I like it. Okay, large. I don't know what wearing suit Because I have to put it on over top of this and I don't have time. That's a bit too big, isn't it? Yeah. You should take a meat large on it. And it's going to wobble around. Do you want to put on a racing a racing jacket, Mel? What? You want to put on a racing jacket? No, or a race I got my own jacket. You got your own racing jacket? I got jacket? a custom racing jacket. Look at that. I got teams here. I got blue. Red. What's up with that? How's that? Yeah, it looks good. The only problem is my cheeks are squished in. Do you want to, do you want to change the helmet? Do I want a bit bigger? I mean, it's not like you're going to have a super... Heart crash. I tightened it up here so it doesn't snap there. 